In this video, we're gonna go over six ways that you can reduce your website's page size. If you didn't know, large page sizes can affect SEO and performance and cause search engines to rank your website lower. Essentially, the heavier your page size is, the slower it'll take to fully load and be ready to be consumed by site visitors. So when your web page has a slow response time, it ultimately affects the overall website performance and user experience. Two of the most important SEO factors. So let's get into it. If you didn't know, a web page's size is a measure of how much data it contains. It's the total amount of data that is sent from the server to the browser when a visitor requests a page. And here are the factors that contribute to it. Images, videos, JavaScript, custom fonts, and advertising. Now you may be wondering, well, what is the ideal page size your website should be? The good news is, is that there is no wrong answer, but you need to know the key to optimizing your page size is balancing three factors, speed, design, and user experience. So let's get into the six tips to reduce your website's page size. Starting off with compressing images. When you're working on a website, one of the first things you'll wanna do is make sure that you're compressing your images. It can help lower the page size and improve the overall performance of your website. Additionally, it helps speed up image delivery, reduces bandwidth costs, and decreases response times. Now, when it comes to compressing images, we recommend using a tool called Imagify. It can make the process of optimizing your images super simple and easy without ruining the quality. And if you have a ton of photos on your website, it has a bulk optimization feature that can compress all the images at once. Next is code cleanup. The code size on the page can impact your overall website's performance if you didn't know. Essentially, the more code there is, the longer it takes to load. This is because there's more work for browsers and servers to do to process everything that needs to be downloaded before they can display anything on the screen. If you need help with this, you can use a performance plugin like WP Rocket. This can help you reduce the size by minifying JavaScript and optimizing your CSS files. Plus, there's an excellent guide for developers created by Screaming Frog that discusses universal analytics, content server, link metrics, link types, JavaScript rendering mode, and many more. But this will only be helpful if you have some technical knowledge. Next is to update your CMS. A content management system is a software that powers your website just like WordPress. It's what allows you to change the text on pages, add new pages, and make other changes to the structure of your site. So having an up-to-date CMS is essential for optimizing page size and improving user experience. If you're using WordPress, for example, you'll always be notified when there's a new update so that way you can stay up-to-date. Next is to enable caching. Caching is a way to store frequently used data so that it doesn't have to be reloaded each time you look at the site. This can significantly reduce the amount of processing required to generate a page, which means you can serve more pages per second and less bandwidth is used. It helps to improve the load speed of your website because it can just load the previously stored version from its cache. Also, caching is great for reducing page size because it means you don't need to include everything on every page on your site. Now, if you need a tool for this, like we mentioned before, WP Rocket can help you out big time. You don't have to worry about any configuration headaches because it's super easy to install and get activated. Next is gzip compression. Side note here, WP Rocket automatically enables gzip compression after activation to reduce the size of your website's data. Now, if you don't know gzip of compression is a process where the size of your website's data is reduced. It's a technique used to compress files for faster transmission over the internet. It takes an uncompressed file and reduces its size by removing redundant information, making it easier to download and store. This not only helps you improve the load speed of your site, but also reduces your bandwidth usage and page size. And then optimize your content for mobile. With all the different types of phones, operating systems, and screen sizes available today, it can be different to develop a website that works well across all devices. But companies don't have a choice because smartphones are the norm these days. So making your content mobile friendly is a must. This means using responsive design techniques to ensure that your content looks good no matter what device it's being viewed on. This strategy is also becoming increasingly important in the world of SEO. Search engines now take into account how well a site is optimized for mobile when ranking websites in search results. Just take a look at this image on screen and see Google stance on this. It rewards those who have mobile optimized content. And those are our tips. So if you like this video, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you want to get easy and effective web performance tips to speed up your website, subscribe to our newsletter linked in the description below. Also check out this playlist right here if you want to learn more about speeding up your website to make sure you're not missing out on any more customers. Goodbye and have a good day.